Good afternoon. I just got home from work. Well, a little bit ago. I was so hungry. I just had a ton of hummus and crackers. I have been obsessed with hummus. I don't know. I mean, I've always liked hummus, but recently in the past week, I cannot get enough of it. I eat it almost every day <laughs> after I eat off. It's so good. But what I want to do right now while there's some sunlight, I really need to take product photos or I guess retake product photos for my glass paintings because the ones that I have right now do not clearly represent the painting and I need to just update it. I Let me get one and show you. I also really need to clean them. So this is, this is the most recent one that I did and I spray the artwork with a clear spray and it leaves, I don't even know if you can see this, probably not, but we're gonna try. Maybe? It leaves a clear, almost like textured stained glass look to it. The photo that I have currently up there does not have that, it just looks like clear glass. So I need to do that. I probably have to do it with all of them. Maybe just a few. I don't know. I need to look at my listing and see which ones I need. And then I might do a watercolor. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this first and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. I think my battery is gonna die soon, soonish. I took the photos and it is a process taking photos of glass. It can't be too bright, so it kind of just has to be like just right as far as the lighting goes. It's just, it's a process. <laughs> it's really a process. And what I do to make sure that I'm not capturing any of the reflection in the actual glass, which is really hard to do, I hold, as you saw, I hold up this board that I have. It's just a white poster board. I probably should take the sticker off, but I didn't. It's probably in some of the photos if you look hard enough. But I use this and kind of block the reflections. Guys, it's a process. <laughs> it's always a process. I kind of want to show you the glass paintings. I don't know if you're familiar with them, but I have, I think I have a total of five. Let me get them. Yeah. I keep them in this, which I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but this is where they are. They're also with my coasters, which I'm planning on releasing my sunflower coasters soon, maybe next month. I haven't decided. I don't know where to put this. I'm going to put it right here. So this is my most recent one, which you saw, which is the little sunflower. Then we have this one, which I think this was my very first one. So I learned a lot from doing this one. If you can see it, I, you can kind of see it. It's a little bee. And then this is the clownfish. My battery is blinking at me. And the last one is this leaf. Yes, I love them. I want to do another one. I need to go because my battery is going to die. I still haven't found my second battery. And I think I'm going to do a watercolor and then I'm going to charge my battery and check back in. It's the next day. <laughs> I... Although you probably can even tell because I'm wearing the exact same sweatshirt as I was yesterday. The only difference is that my hair is up. 
I got home from work about an hour ago and I wanted to show you my water bottle. I recently purchased this from, ooh, you know what? I'm going to have to look at it. W and P. I'm going to double check on that and I'll put it on the screen somewhere. But this is my new water bottle. Well, I guess mug, coffee mug, not water bottle. And I love it. It's a little dirty because I took it to work. But it's so freaking cute. It's ceramic. And then the lid is... I don't even know what type of material this is. Can you see? It's just kind of like, like a rubber or a silicone maybe. And the inside, it has my matcha in it from today. But the inside is completely ceramic it's really really easy to clean and I love it I really needed a new mug because the one that I had before I got at Target and I had it for a while but it was like half this size and I wanted something that I could put more liquid in I kind of wish I got instead of the screw top I wish that I got one with a lid because that was an option that you can you know like a sipping lid so yesterday I think I was talking about my glass paintings and then my battery was flashing at me <laughs> and then I charged it and then I was on the phone with a few friends for like an hour and a half I did do a watercolor though I was doing a watercolor while I was talking to them oh you know what I wanted to show you one of the glass paintings that I did not show you yesterday because I was in such a rush it's this one, which probably, this might be my favorite. It's poppies. How cute is this? So this is another one of the glass paintings. And then they all come with this stand. I kind of want to do, I think I have a few more of these to paint, but I kind of want to do one that are maybe like hexagon shaped and ones that you can hang. That could be cool. I just want to kind of switch it up a bit. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert that watercolor. this as a black and white version that I think it's on my shop I could be wrong but I think I put it up and then I went ahead and I watercolored it I love it although I wish I did it on like a higher quality paper because I was kind of fighting with the watercolor and as you can see it's starting to like bend because I kind of put a lot of water on it but this is it. I actually really, really like it and I'm fairly happy with it. I did the border because I painted it as an 8x10. So I'm going to trim the edges 
and then scan it in and add it as a new print. I've been meaning to go through my prints and kind of get rid of the ones that I don't necessarily want to have up there anymore. I think what I want to do though is I want to properly scan them into my computer so I have them and then sell them. That's the goal. I'm not really sure which ones. I kind of need to go through that and figure it out. But once I get everything on my actual shop website, then I'll probably go ahead and I'll have originals up. But originals that I want to get rid of. Because I have a hard time of getting rid of original artwork. It's not that I'm like attached to it. It's more of I'm worried that my computer is going to crash and I'm going to lose the file. And then I won't have it anymore. Which, I don't know, is kind of silly because I have them on a hard drive and then I have them in the, the iCloud. So I think I need to get over that and sell my artwork because I have a lot. Oh my gosh, you guys, I need to show you my plant. My plant is out of control and I need to repot it. I was planning on doing it a while ago and then I just never got to the store. This is the plant that the ants decided to make a colony in. It is huge. Look at it. It's so happy, but I think it's outgrowing this pot and the roots are just <laughs> out of control. It's also so heavy. I need to figure out something because this moss bowl is not doing it. So if anybody has any suggestions of what to use to prop this up, let me know. Maybe I will go get a pot tomorrow. Although I said that last week and that never happened, so I don't know. It's not like the leaves aren't yellow, which makes me think that it's doing okay for the time being. It's not completely smushed. It's outgrowing the pot <laughs> completely. And so is my aloe vera. I have an aloe vera plant up there. I don't know. I honestly don't know why I grabbed it, but I have it and it desperately needs to be repotted even more than this one. But that is a task for a different day, possibly tomorrow, but I'm not going to cross my fingers because I don't know if that's going to happen. I think I'm going to go. I really want to edit this video and get it up hopefully tonight. It's four o'clock, so I might be able to, but I'm going to go and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. And I will see you next time. Bye!